What's going on, people? Well, today's video is about threads and duct tape. This tire has about had it. I wiped the mud off, and we're going to cover up them thread spots with some duct tape and drive, drive, drive. And see what happens. I personally think the tire's gonna be just fine. It's gonna go for another good old trip. It's currently like dark outside. It's pretty late. I'm gonna take the trailer to the house, which is just down my driveway after I get it duct taped and let it sit for a few hours while I sleep, run up the road in the morning. We're going to go pick up some produce and watermelon and stuff. Let's put some tape on it and see what happens. Well, isn't this stuff just junk? Well, the duct tape pro is already separating. I guess it done got too hot and gluing itself together, so we're going to Peel back a couple layers and get down to some good tape. Pretty thin stuff, but it's duct tape. Oh my goodness, come on. Alright, so we got the Duct Tape Pro. We filled back a couple layers, trying to get down to some good tape. Still pretty. Alright, so we got the Duct Tape Pro. And we've peeled back a few layers. Make sure we get down to some fresh duct tape. Cause you know how you like your duct tape fresh. And as hot as it's been recently. No good for it. If you do this at home, watch out for them threads they they metal and them little spikes man they that wire it hurts if it gets into you we'll have to try to get that to go down in that wire I hope we're getting some stiction All right, there's one layer right there. Let's put one on the, a little bit more on the inside where it really does most of the driving, it looks like. Gorilla tape may be better because at least it's black. It looks like a tire. Try to get to go through them wires. That gloves on them. Ow! Sharp. 
I'm going to give you updates by however many miles I go. And the way I see it, I mean, if it's wearing out duct tape, but you can hear my hub, sounds like it needs some grease in it. Ow. If it's wearing out duct tape, it shouldn't be wearing out the bald spot. All right, we're going to put one more band a little further out. Have you old spotlight. Been shot since it's dark. I don't have the best light, lighting here. Don't know if our electrical grid can hold it. I say let's put one more right down the middle. It's almost, look at that tree. Building up tread pattern. Might be raining while we need that tread group. If it blows out, I do not have the spare. If it blows out, we just ride on the rim until we get to back here, I guess. We're not too worried about it. I think we're going to put one extra strip right over the top of that spot right there. To kind of balance the tire since that's where all the spots are. Now it's real important when you do stuff like this to roll your patches in. You know, you really want to work them into the tire. We got this tire at max PSI, 65 PSI. It's a D-range tire. I think it's probably made in Taiwan or somewhere. And it's, uh, I think it's kind of, uh, it's probably a, What's the name of it? I don't know, but it's one of them like Harvest King straight twos or something. It's whatever that standard trailer king, not Harvest King. I'll tell you what, now this paint rolling. That did the trick. That thing is ready for the long haul. I mean, we got tread here, so I don't see any reason why putting more tape there. And we've got at least one full layer all the way across, maybe almost two. And we'll give you an update in the morning. We're about 10 miles in and it's starting to flare up a little but who knows we've been about 40 miles uh oh don't look like it's gonna make it I see it coming apart duct tape's doing something but it ain't gonna hold that on that part but it looks like it's 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 gonna be the end of the tire today it's looking rough out there Dang old tire. Current state of the tire. Starting to frail out right there. We've been about 70 or so miles duct tape. All right, so we're right at 200 and so miles. Um, this is about 210 miles. I don't think duct tape's helping no more. Poor old tire. Kind of need your safety squints when you get close to it. But you can see there's some tape on it. This sap sucker does look like it's gonna just go kabooming. But one band of metal's gone. We got about 100 and so, maybe about 150 miles we'll be unhooked. Well, the tires came apart, uh, the tread came off, it's made it a bubbly round look, we're trying to go fast, it's uh, got about 65 PSI, it's going to go boom any minute, I reckon, it's been slinging rubber all over everybody. Well, the tires flat, we blew on out. Three 
200 miles. So here we are, right over 300 miles. We still got a, another pallet or so to unload. I'd say the duct tape did a wonderful job of helping. Uh, we still got a good ways to go. But the tire, you know, it's on the bead, so it's got plenty of rubber to ride on. And, you know, you just don't have the cushion of air. We're on the home stretch, about 330 miles or so. 